Jericho would be so proud of me. <laughs> the sun is finally out. Good morning. I just woke up. <clears throat> it's pretty early. I mean, <laughs> it's not early. It's pretty late. We've kind of gotten into a bad habit of sleeping in. I say bad habit because for me, I love waking up early and having some intentional time and getting work done. It's like my favorite time of the day. But sometimes we get into these little periods of time where we just sleep in. <laughs> That's what we've been doing lately. I wasn't planning on filming today, but my van is a complete mess. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like when I'm really in the thick of it <laughs> and not really taking care of my space as I normally do. When my van starts to look like this, I know that I'm not really prioritizing my routines and <laughs> the things that I love to do. So my phone, I'm doing it right now, my phone is going on airplane mode. You know what I'm going to start with? I'm going to clean my van and wear a face mask. I never do this. Jericho would be so proud of me. How do I look? How long am I supposed to keep this on? Oh, I should have cleaned my face. Whatever. Let the day begin. I'd like to give a special thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. There are times when I receive comments or people will say things to me along the lines of, how can you struggle if you live a life like that? So I'm here to tell you <laughs> that regardless of how you live, what lifestyle you lead, who's around you, or where you wake up in the morning, mental health struggles are inevitable. At the end of the day, we are human. And a better help can be a wonderful service for anyone. After you fill out their simple questionnaire online, they will assess your needs and match you with a professional licensed therapist. And within 48 hours, you can be communicating with them. The beautiful thing about BetterHelp is that it's available for clients worldwide. You can log in at any time and send a message to your therapist. And you can schedule weekly phone or video sessions, which is perfect for nomads or people that live in vehicles or really just anybody that doesn't want to physically go and see a therapist in person. As many of you already know, I think everybody could benefit from therapy. In fact, as a part of the new year, I found myself a new therapist and I'm really excited to start working with him. With that being said, I highly encourage you to visit the link in this video's description, betterhelp.com slash Linnea, to work towards finding a therapist that's right for you. Wow, it just got very chilly. <laughs> I am going to make a big meal and then settle in for many hours of work. And hopefully I have some time tonight to read my book.
I'm done with work. I was hoping to be done a few hours ago, but I decided to, well, I decided to just keep working. Before it gets too dark out here, <clears throat> I'm gonna pack up my bag for the morning. Oh, I found a pen. Oh, that's amazing. <sighs> Always losing those. Basically, if I'm not prepared for the morning, if I wanna do something, um, I'm not doing it. <laughs> it's kinda just how I roll. I'm a morning person, but to an extent. Coffee's next. <laughs> what? Are you ready for bed? Okay. I really didn't want to wake up this morning, but I think that delayed gratification is one of the most valuable things we can teach ourselves. You gotta wake up, girl. You gotta wake up, honey. <sighs> <laughs> Keela's not really a morning person, are you? I know. It'll be worth it, I promise. Good morning. Good morning, Akila. Hey. Good morning. I'm gonna wake up, okay? Back up. Good girl. Okay. Are you doing okay? Did you have a nice walk? Good. Oh! <laughs> that was a really good burp. There's nothing better than this, is there? Uh -uh. Can you lie down? I'm trying to make my coffee, girl. Oh, the sun is just barely starting to poke out. Can I make my coffee? I'll rub your leg later. I'll rub your leg later. Yeah, there you go, lie down. No, stop, Akilah. Stop, stop. 
I'm, I can't, I can't play with you right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> my coffee. I need to make my coffee. <laughs> Thank you. Gosh. You are a toddler. I can imagine what it's like to watch these videos. I don't really watch YouTube, but I can imagine what it's like to be sitting at home and watching me out here on this mountain drinking coffee at sunrise. And I guess I just want to reiterate that I go through everything that everybody else goes through. I think that there's a lot of excitement around this lifestyle and around all of the beauty of it and the freedom of it and the places you go and the things you see and the people you meet. <clears throat> And those things are all true. They all, they all happen. There, there's truth to all of that. But it doesn't come without all the other stuff that we experience in life. And I, I, I promise I'm not just saying that. Life really isn't that much different as far as my internal struggles and the things I deal with day to day and anxiety or heartache or grief revisits me often and those things are never they don't hurt less because you live in a van they don't hurt less because you're drinking coffee at a mountain at sunrise they just still hurt so I guess I'm trying to say two things number one I love my life and I still experience still experience things that are maybe less desirable. And number two, I do believe that comparison is a thief of joy. This is beautiful. Well, the clouds have covered up the sunrise, but man, this morning that deep red was so beautiful. All right, my coffee's done. Do you want me to rub your leg? better up here though. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy right now. The sun is finally I got back to the van I checked my email and the freezer is going to be shipped really soon hopefully I'll have it by the end of the week crazy Akila went straight into her kennel and went back to sleep <laughs> and I think that that's a really great idea um, so I am actually gonna make more coffee get in bed spend some time editing and read my book a little bit more that is the beautiful thing about waking up so early I feel like I kind of have two mornings in one. <laughs> Obviously, Akila and I moved. She is hanging out in here for now. Um, Akila takes a, a, a while to trust people and other dogs, and it's a very slow process for her, so 
while there's new people in the area, I just like to have her in the van so she can observe and kind of be with us in a removed sense. Otherwise, she gets really stressed out. So I decided to come here. Basically, I drove like 30 miles from um, my last location and spending some time with friends. And Schooly Palooza is coming up this weekend. I have not decided if I'm going. My introverted self is telling me, don't go. And the extroverted side of me is telling me to just go for a weekend. So we'll see. I'm still deciding. Maybe next week I'll just be out in the middle of nowhere again. Or maybe I'll be at Schooly Palooza hanging out with people. I don't know. So make sure to tune in next week if you wanna see what I decided and where I've ended up. And I wanna thank you guys for being such a big part of our lives and for following along with our adventures and not so adventurous weeks too. And Keel and I will see you next week. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun.